Peace. This is a meat and potato sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist. And today's topic for the occult family is the price of love spells and binding. Love magic has taken a lot of abuse because a lot of people use it for nefarious purposes and binding people to them. I've seen this and it's had horrible consequences for doing that. Let me give you this one story. There was a I would assume a young lady that reached out to me and I always protect people's privacy. But she was talking about how she binded someone to her and to say that it went bad would be an understatement. What had happened is that her physical body was affected as far as her temperature, feeling like she was burning up, uh, rashes can be caused. Now, who would be the culprit behind this? Let me tell you, when you do things like this against someone's will or volition, what ends up happening is that their spirit guides or if they've been appointed one or maybe up to three guardian angels, they come and they make an example out of you. Now, is this to demonize all love magic? No, there are good forms of love magic. Let me give you another case scenario. Let's say that someone has malicious intent and wants to insert themselves as a way to get you to break up with your significant other or your husband or your wife. You can work with Urzuli, Dante. You can work with Aphrodite. You can even work with Lilith. Lilith is especially good with that. And they will come and they will take care of that. So all love magic is not bad, but you don't bind someone to you because you are violating them. And not only that, every sorcerer or witch really knows that is pathetic. Now, you can use love magic if someone fell in love with you through their own free will and consciousness. Yes, you can use love magic, but you don't ever use it to bind someone to you or to force them because this can result in you, your physical health being affected. This could be you could probably come up with a, a disease that you don't even really know. You could come up with lupus or anything your hair can fall out because they don't want you doing that magic is great but magic has its dangers as well if anyone is going to love you and be with them let them make that conscious decision you don't have a right to override that no matter how passionate or i think i would be a a, a great fit for them you don't know that because if you were such a great fit for them you would not have taken the course that you undertook and i and people have to understand this so the, the young lady's physical health was affected. And on top of that, now she can't sleep. Now the nightmares come and there's nightmares, um, spirits you can work with. There are angels that are good at nightmares. You can find that if you work with Russian black magic. So this is why you don't do this. You don't engage in that practice because one of the worst things is you may bind someone to you or use a love spell and then you find out now that you're the inside and you're not outside trying to look in or peek or whatever this person they're not great for you and you're not great for them but because of the spell this may lead to stalking domestic violence or you may end up deleted so please please don't do that if you're going to use love magic and like i said this is not to tear it down because love magic can do some wonderful things like spice up your sex life, improve your communication. It has its good points, but you see what happens when you do this type of magic for not in the best favor and you're not making a qualitative decision. So with that, that is your meat and potatoes sorcery for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.